Congratulations for successfully setting up Rx Java in your system. And if you haven't done it yet, please do watch our previous video episode. Or if you have faced any problem regarding setting up Rx Java, then do contact me or comment below and we are going to solve the problem together. Namaste everyone. In this video episode, we are going to discuss and learn some very important topics which are going to make your Rx Java path a much easier and your code a lot cleaner. So what do you need to just to get started with Rx Java? The first and most obvious thing is the Java itself. I mean, if you don't know Java, but have experience with other object oriented programming languages, then you can continue or I highly recommend you to learn Java first and then come back here. All right, we all knew that Java is not that great in terms of syntax, but from Java 8, everything has been changed. Now to really leverage the power of Rx Java, we need to get familiar with some Java 8 functionality. So we need to have an idea about lambdas and method reference. And if you already know about this stuff, you can uh, jump to our bonus section from this timestamp on the description. Okay, let's not bore you by showing off my face and jump into my computer. Let me start with a very simple example. We have all created thread at least once. If you haven't created one yet, just follow me along. Let me write thread thread equals to new thread. And there you can see that it takes an instance of runnable. So let me create new runnable and autocomplete. You can see that here we needed to override the run method of runnable. By this implementation, we can guess that runnable is either an abstract class or an interface with only one abstract method, run. Now let's check what runnable is. So as you can see, runnable is nothing but an interface with only one method, run. So whenever you see that there is an interface with only one method in it, you can safely call it a functional interface in Java 8. And we can convert only a functional interface to a lambda. As you can see, IntelliJ is trying to be helpful by showing us that we can convert this lambda. So let's not auto fix it and let me show you a very easy trick to writing lambdas without the help of the IDE. As you can see that run method does not take any arguments. So just remove everything except the parenthesis, which takes no arguments. And as we start method body with the curly braces in here, it's we just need to start the method body after the arrow. Because runnable return void, so we don't need to return anything in here and we can remove everything unnecessary. And there you go. It looks much cleaner. Let's write a method called run it and print hello world in it. Now call this method from here, the method body of a runnable. And now you can see that IntelliJ is showing us that we can convert this method to method reference. Let me explain where is it possible. If you are using lambda and you want to call a method from there, keep in mind that we just need to call a method from here and nothing else. The method that you want to call and the method from which that you want to call the method, in our case it's runnable, if their signature matches, we can safely convert to method reference. If you observe, run method does not take any arguments and return void. And our run it method does the same thing so that we can call it a signature match. And whenever we find a combination of lambda and signature match, we can use method reference. So again, let's not auto fix anything and convert it to ourselves. Because run it is a static method, we need to specify the class name before we can call the method. So main, then two columns and there you write run it. Notice that you did not need to specify the parenthesis because in method reference, we don't need to specify parenthesis, just the method name. Suppose run it is not a static method, then in this case, instead of main, we need to write this. So that was lambdas and method reference for you. There are lots of awesome things exists in Java 8, which is not really necessary to get the most out of this course. But if you really want to learn everything, I'll try to put some links in the description of this video. 
I tried to keep the tutorial as simple as possible because I didn't want to go out of the scope of this video which is RxJava. Okay, it's time for the bonus. I'm going to help you set up Git on your system and how easily you can download the exact code for the specific episode. If you already have Git installed on your system, then you can skip to the part where I'll discuss how you can download the source code that you need for this course. Visit the Git official website. I'll put the links in the description and download Git based on your operating system. Click on run and follow the on-screen instruction and you are done. Now to check whether Git is installed successfully or not, open your command prompt or terminal, type git and hit enter. If you see something similar to my screen, then git is installed successfully in your system. Okay, now that git is installed, let me show you from where and how you can download the source code of this specific episode. Visit the github repository from the link in the description and click on clone or download. Just download as zip extract and open it with any id or text editor but i highly recommend that you use intellij now every time i release a new episode i'm going to push all the changes in a branch starting with a series number and episode number just like that you just need to go to the terminal and run this command git pull and it will pull all the changes you just need to switch the branch based on the series and episode that you are watching all right to summarize, you have learned method reference and lambdas and how easily you can download Git and the source code of this course. In the next episode, I'm going to show you what observable and observer is but in an animated way. So no coding next Sunday because we all need some breaks, right? So don't forget to hit subscribe button and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss our videos on Sunday. It's Mitu here signing off. Thank you for stopping by. See you next Sunday.